Welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. I'm Carolyn Sherlock, here with tips, reviews, and how-tos for your cruising adventure. This episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Shambhala Sailing Adventures, offering customized learning charters in the Exumas, Bahamas. Sailor like your owner with coaching from Captain Suki Cannon. Contact her at Captain Suki, that's C A P T A I N S U K Y, at gmail.com. Mention this podcast for 10% off. Slow down, slow down. Organizing and reorganizing. I've come to the conclusion that I'll never have my boat perfectly organized. And so I periodically find myself pulling everything out of a particular area and trying something new. I get a lot of questions about what should go where, or where do I even start? But the real answer is that you'll probably periodically decide that something's just not working and change it around. On our first boat, at first we found ourselves doing major rearranging maybe once a month as we discovered that the cubby that looked so perfect for all the tools was really a pain to get anything out of since you had to remove the companionway steps to access it or that it didn't work to have the majority of my canned food under where Dave liked to sit while I was cooking, and so on. That first year was a straight-up learning curve. I know I've got a problem with how things are organized if things are never put back where they go. If a particular item is always left out or just piled on top of something else, it usually means that I'm using it frequently. Minor reorganization there. We also learned that we tend to reorganize things by season of the year or if we're making a longer stay in a marina. In cold weather, jeans and fleeces get put in the easy-to-access drawers. When we're out cruising, we rarely use the water hose, but the bucket we use for rinsing the anchor chain stays at hand. In a marina, the opposite is true. If we're working on barefoot gal in a boat yard, things get organized totally differently. Then things have to go back to their on-the-water homes before we launch again. And yes, I arrange them slightly differently than I did before, hoping to fix the problems I had last year. When it's just the two of us, we use the guest bed to make a lot of gear more accessible. But when we do have a guest, we find other places to tuck that gear into. In the galley, packaging can change from one place to another. When we cruised Mexico, in some areas, all the wine was sold in bottles. A hundred miles away, it'd be mostly in boxes. And I'd have to store it in a different place. Ditto for products that were sold canned in one place and in Tetra Packs the next time I provisioned. I used to think that something was wrong with us, that we couldn't find the one right spot for everything. Now I think it's a combination of what we're doing at a given time and how our lives change over time. And so, I periodically reorganize. Until next time, then. Thanks for listening. And thanks again to our sponsor, Shambhala's Sailing Adventures. If you like the show, please be sure to subscribe in your podcast app. Just search for the Boat Galley Podcast. And reviews are always appreciated. Slow down, slow down.